Well guys, we're at it again. It is flooding once again. Flooded Sunday, I posted the video on YouTube and we had a break yesterday. Didn't rain, rain hardly. Flood waters receded and now we're back at it again. Got had another big storm hit us overnight last night and things are actually worse the second time around. It's all water down there coming through our door. And then the kitchen is flooded. It's all coming in from one side of the house. And the bathroom, flooded. You gotta wear rain boots to get around. And then our patio, as you can see, is all flooded. So, yeah, it's bad. <laughs> yeah, it's the lake out here. In the front yard, a lake. So I'm having to shovel water out of the house now. It, it got uh, um, it got worse since I walked around to film it and show you. So now I'm having to shovel it. My wife had to run to the hardware store to find a water pump because we don't have a water pump and it's coming in so fast. This is the worst. The worst our house has ever flooded. And they weren't even expecting this second storm to be as strong. But it, it sure is. In fact, this storm might even be wetter than the first one. Look at this. Yeah, the flooding continues. All right, so we got a couple pumps. There's one right there. Uh, keep this. It's continuing to rain, just keeps coming down. And um, still shoveling water out of the out of the uh, dining room here and the kitchen. And the hardware store was all out of pumps, so I had to get a couple guys over here. And they're running the pumps, but it just keeps pouring rain. Trying to shovel that water, trying to keep on top of it. All right, the level is finally dropping. The rain has lightened up a little bit. This pump is working. And, oh, it's, yeah, pretty disgusting back here. Okay, and then with this other pump's going. At least it's better though, it's dropping. And I'm not having to shovel water out of the house at this point. Well, it finally stopped raining, and these pumps, it's dark now, um, yeah. So it continued to pour and pour after we got these pumps put in. And they did a good job of keeping the water out of the house even while it continued to pour really, really hard. And now finally it has stopped raining and the pumps are continuing to deal with the excessive water in our yard. But we don't have to worry about water coming in the house now. Now we just have to clean up the house. So the Napa Valley is shut down and this is where we were shoveling water earlier. Now we don't have water to shovel, thankfully. And over here. But we've tracked mud all over the floors. Plus a little, some sewage that mixed with the flood water. Yeah, we bought some bleach and we're gonna bleach these floors here soon now that we don't end this, oh man. I hope we can throw this rug away. That thing is trashed. After all that. And the sandbags. Ugh. This nightmare is almost over. Almost. Not out of the woods yet. Now we got the cleanup. Yay. Well, it's the next day. Day after the flooding. And the front yard is 
Well, the lawn is pretty much ruined. It's a mud pit. That was the lawn. Not anymore. Yeah, we got the floors cleaned up. Finally, we bleached our um, our floors. So they're disinfected now, because since we're dealing with uh, sewage infested flood water. It hasn't rained since last night, which is nice. And the water, for the most part, has um, pretty much gone. No more standing water. No more flooding. So thank God those people let us borrow those two pumps because they were a lifesaver. We were quickly able to gain the upper hand on the floodwaters and keep the floodwaters from coming into the house. And, but we, we soon discovered that about 70% of the floodwaters were actually coming from the sewer, which is not good. Um, is that even after it stopped raining, the flooding continued. Like there, we um, there was a continuous. We saw a continuous flow of of water coming out of the um, the sewer uh, the the sewer access point closest to the street, and it was flooding onto our front lawn, in and towards the house, and alongside the house where where the where the elevation is a little lower, so water would pool there, and it would flood and it would come into the house. See, in most neighborhoods, the street is usually lower than the yard. So it slopes down towards the street in a typical house, typical neighborhood. In our case, of course, we'd have to be renting a house that's the complete opposite. The street is actually higher than the house. So all the water would come towards the house instead of going out to the street where it was supposed to go. And we were told by the city that the... I gotta wait for that thing to go by before I continue saying what I was saying. I just realized I had the focus, the manual focus set incorrectly. I had it set to infinity, so I was probably blurry the last minute I was talking. Okay, I fixed it. Now I should be in focus. All right, so the city told me that the sewer system is old, the pipes are very small, they're four inches, and it can't handle all the excessive uh, rainfall runoff. So it's bubbling out, all, out of all the sewer access points, and ours happens to be in a location where it's sloped towards a house. So yeah, we got absolutely flooded with a river of, of flood water and sewage from the damn sewer system. And so I was up until four in the morning last night. I had to, I was ha constantly having to check the, the pumps to make sure they weren't plugging up, make sure they were, you know, ingesting water and moving it out as they were supposed to. So constantly checking on those. I was out in that muddy, sloppy, sewage infested yard, uh, thankfully in rain boots, but still um, getting dirty out there, going back and forth and it was an absolute nightmare last night. Um, so I was dealing with all that even after it had stopped raining. However, as the night continued to go on, the flow from the sewer did gradually diminish to almost nothing. But anyway, where I had the pumps well, wasn't the best location. I thought, well, maybe I should move the pump to the actual uh, sewer um, outlet, put it in there where leaves won't clog it up. So I had to call the city. I had to get approval from the city to do that, to pump the water out of the sewer access and directly onto the street without, you know, breaking any laws. So I got approval from the city to do that. They gave me the okay to, to, to um, place the, the pump in the sewer access and then, and then put the hose out into the street and route it there. They said it was fine. If that's what it takes to keep your house from flooding with sewage, do, do it that way. So I did. And it was amazing. It, um, it was then, uh, the pump was working more efficiently. It was pumping out the water um, a little faster than it was coming out of the sewer, which is great. And it got to the point where the flow from the sewer was weakening because the flood water was moving to uh, downhill. And Public Works showed up and they gave me some extra sandbags and um, helped me sandbag the rest of the front yard. Um, and that's that. 
uh, we're okay now it hasn't rained it's not supposed we're not supposed to get any more big rain so but we are still in the middle of winter so we are definitely not may not be out of the woods for another few months or I mean we've just barely started the rainy season and we do tend to get a lot of rain here in the winter so now we just have to clean the ha the rest of the house we've got the floors cleaned but you know you track you know stuff in from that came from outside where the sewage was you track it on your feet and you know it's on your clothes you touch your clothes you touch the doorknobs and it just you know you get germs everywhere so we're just trying to disinfect the house now that's a big job you know and yesterday I was gonna film my second video for my simply Seth channel ha right there went that mother nature had had other ideas for me so now my uh, I'm a bit delayed here in getting a video out another video out for my other channel but I'll get to it eventually I was gonna do it yesterday but now it looks like it's gonna be another few days yeah I talked to the landlord I told him hey we need to get gutters on this house because the other 30 percent of the flooding was from you know from the lack of gutters and the water just pouring off the roof and staying close to the house and told him we also need to get a sump pump so he agreed to that thankfully went to bed at four in the morning and I'm still tired from last night it was a big night my body sore from all that shoveling of water and um, trying to move water to the pumps and walking back and forth bending over and working with these pumps all all evening and pretty much all night but I'm just glad it's over for now